um, we had all gone to bed and I was actually still awake because I was feeling very nauseated. It was about midnight. And um, you know, so I was up reading and then an alarm that I didn't recognize uh, went off. And so I kind of tapped Gary and said, hey, go turn that off. Go turn that off. It's going to wake up the kids. So, um, you know, and I was still very nauseated. And he got up and he was taking care of it and he went and checked the carbon monoxide detector and uh, I didn't hear anything from him for a few minutes but Rachel, my daughter, had woken up from the alarm and she came in and said how nauseated she was. And, and so and still even then I, I don't think I really was putting the pieces together. So I said, well come and snuggle in bed and, and you know, well, I'm sure everything will be fine. Daddy will get that turned off and we'll get you back to bed. So when Gary came back upstairs um, he said, you know, I think we need to get dressed. And our carbon monoxide detector has a digital reader on it, and it was going up rapidly. So all of a sudden it was like, okay, we're out. So we did, we got the kids up and dressed. The boys weren't feeling any effects, but Gary had um, tingling in his hands right to his elbows. Um, and so we thought, you know, we, we need to take this really seriously now. So we, we put the kids in the car, we called the fire um, department, and they came and their, of course, their detectors that they come in with right away, they, are, they all went off throughout the whole house. And, um, you know, it, you kind of understand what's happening kind of slowly. You feel like you're a little bit underwater. And then you start to realize um, just how serious it could have been. Had we not had a working carbon monoxide detector, had we not taken it seriously, um, things would have been very different for my family. It, it can't help but think that you were just terrified at the moment when you realized this was for real and this is happening. No, that's, that was funny because I didn't feel terrified. It was about staying calm for the kids, staying calm. And, you know, I felt like once we were out of the house, everything was fine. I knew we were safe. You know, so I, and I never had that moment of terror until maybe two days later when the, the import really hits you. I felt very scared for my family then. But at the moment, it was about staying calm, following the plan, letting the fire department handle it. It was a little surreal at that time. So, And, and your message to everyone is to have a working CO detector, maybe more than one in your household? Absolutely. We only had one and we now have three and you should have one on every single floor and you need to make sure your batteries are changed and you need to replace them after three years. And I'm so grateful that my husband is always taking care of that. It's something honestly I've never thought about or worried about. You know those things happen to other people. It doesn't happen to me but it did and it happened to my kids and it's very serious. We were already suffering effects before the alarm even went off. Did you call it the silent killer? Had, had your husband not got up and read the meter or paid attention to that alarm, the, I wouldn't be sitting here talking with you. No, no, absolutely not. Our furnace um, was spewing out 3,000 parts per million and the fire department told me that anywhere between five and 600 is certain death within two hours. So we wouldn't be here, absolutely not. And you know he was he was down checking it, and I'm so grateful that you know he made the choices that he made as well. You know instead of ignoring it, just taking the batteries out because it's late at night and I'm sure it's nothing. You know we rationalize away some of those things as well. So you need to take it seriously, even if your carbon monoxide detector is has gone off and there's nothing in the home. Once they the fire department comes you're still so much better off to have had it checked out. And, um, and there are frost alarms on them, but it's far better to make sure. Error on the side of caution. Absolutely.